Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Micah just checking in for my push day. Um, this is actually just doing some bench press. Feeling pretty good. I'm keeping the rep ranges pretty pretty good as far as my first lift, eight to 10, five sets um, as far as the bench press is concerned. And then now on to the next exercise. Alright, so here I'm adding in some hammer strength incline press. Uh, this is another way to just really dial in and isolate that chest muscle movement. You know, you're still utilizing other auxiliary muscles, but I feel like I'm able to get a lot of blood flow into that particular area, especially as I drop set um, within this round. Um, somebody was using the incline barbell press, um, but I still got my work done with the hammer strength. I really love this exercise. Um, like I said, it's just easy and accessible. Plus, you know, you're just able to really isolate that muscle group. And I already did incline barbell press at the beginning of the week um, on Monday. So, on to the next exercise. So now I'm just going back into my decline presses, uh, something that I really like doing as well. I typically don't do these a lot or just often enough, and so I'm really going to start dialing that in, especially as the judge is telling me I need to build my chest uh, just to get an overall uh, physique uh, progression. And so I've got the, one, you know, the 205, feeling pretty good about that, and then of course I drop set. Um, so since this is higher volume day, I typically do like drop sets, um, I do supersets. I mean, I really just try to maximize my efforts in the gym. I know I've said that time and time again, but this is something that I really enjoy doing on um, the higher volume days, um, just so that I feel like I'm getting not just only a proper pump, but I'm actually just isolating those muscle groups as much as possible, that mind-muscle connection. All right, on to the next exercise. So of course I gotta add in my, my overhead presses. Even though this is a higher volume day, I typically just like adding these in as a good warm up. Six to eight reps, four sets, and feeling really good about doing 30 on each side. And then I move into my chest movement uh, with the Smith machine. This is another way to just isolate that muscle group. And I utilize the Smith machine quite a bit. Uh, but I really enjoy just being able to get as much blood flow into that particular area and just fatigue the muscle to failure as, as much as possible. And then as I move into the Smith machine punts again and really dialing in with close grip just to isolate some of the, you know, the triceps and just making sure that I'm keeping the movement safe and controlled. Um, I feel that if I utilize the Smith machine, um, outside of just using the regular bench press, I'm able to not have to focus so much attention on other components like balancing and keeping everything where it needs to be as far as proper form. And then of course, you know, I had to vary it up and I added in some front raises. I just grabbed up a 35 pound plate and I just started doing some front raises. And this is something that I really enjoy doing. Like I said, tying in different muscle groups um, tying in different exercises just so that you can really focus and dial in with you know, hitting as much volume as possible in a particular set. So on to the next exercise. And then now I'm going to do some more tricep work doing the seated dips and just feeling really good about lifting heavy again. You know, if you increase on macros and calories, it's so much easier to lift heavy weight. Um, so I got two 45s and a 25, definitely feeling really good about this movement. And then I transition into the lateral raise for dumbbells. And this is something you know, I typically did during my contest prep, is just really trying to superset a lot of volume. 
different exercises, um, no matter what day of the week it was. I really tried to go to one exercise to the next just to maximize my efforts. And I feel like once I've done this uh, lateral raise, I can go right into my seated dips once again and still feel like I can lift um, you know, the proper rep ranges that I'm shooting for. All right, on to the next. Okay, so this is the last uh, superset that I went ahead and did for the day, and I did some pec dick flies, and then I'm going to transition to seated overhead triceps presses, and then I go into that machine right on the right side, and just do some shorter presses to finish it off. And I do a round robin, so I don't typically take very much rest, if at all. Um, I just kind of keep going for three rounds. This is something that I just like, it's like the, you know, the, the final thing just to get everything out of me and just get as much volume as possible, as much blood flow into those particular areas. And like I said, these are, the, these are some focus points as I go into my building phase. And it's really building up the chest, the shoulders, and of course the arms just because I feel like that muscle group is a little lagging when I look at my front and rear relaxed poses. But, you know, thanks for checking in. Of course, if there's any questions, comments, definitely leave them in the, in the comments below and I'll address them on future videos. But feeling really good about where I'm at with my, you know, my push day as far as volume is concerned. But thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.